Hello, I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. There's a bit of relief for business owners. The governor is allowing a partial reopening starting Friday at 5. So that means outside dining at restaurants, youth sports and day camps, outdoor pools and drive-in movie theaters can reopen under certain guidelines. Now, during his Wednesday evening news conference, the governor made it clear that this is not phase two, but the end of phase one. Restaurants must begin screening procedures, including uh, daily temperature checks of all staff and masks or face coverings must be worn when interacting with other employees or patrons. And the governor said he will continue to empower local leaders to make the call on when to reopen their community. He says we should continue to wear masks and follow social distancing, which includes working from home as much as possible. All right, there is a new free testing site. It's coming to Six Flags in Upper Marlboro starting on Friday. You can go there if you think you were exposed to the virus. You don't need an appointment or a doctor's order. The State Department of Health will give the test to patients at no out-of-pocket cost. This is all part of the state's effort to make tests more widely available to all of us. And WMAR 2 News wants to thank everybody who donated to the Maryland Food Bank during this pandemic. And we just wrapped up our Food Bank Blitz fundraiser, which helped us raise more than $50,000. We also got a big donation earlier today of $15,000 from CUP. That's Corporate Office Properties Trust. This is located in Columbia, and we thank them so much. And we're tracking the chance of some showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for a large chunk of your Thursday. Still going to see a big warm up, and I'm expecting those daytime highs to eventually get into the upper 70s during the afternoon, and even some locations will crest out in the low 80s. Now, extending out the forecast, we're looking at a heat and humidity being a big factor for Thursday and Friday as a cold front starts to push more energy our way. We start to see that all starting to dry out by Saturday, and looking at drier and more comfortable numbers as we head into the end of the weekend and into next week. And you can click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.